Today I have set up open appendectomy operation trolley as requested by the students who come into OT for learning experiences to input more knowledge in them regarding about the instruments required for the operation particularly for open appendectomy all the instruments and the articles that will be used for the operation it has to be properly sterilized prior to the operation to prevent the chances of occurring infection in this video i did not include the towels conveniently five towels are required for open appendectomy operation my trolley is not a sterile trolley since i am using it for a learning purpose hello everyone welcome back to lucy's blog again lucy's diary i am lucy and Lonnie. so my name is lucy plus Lonnie. <laughs> i will be showing the open appendectomy operation trolley along with the instruments purposes so kindly please do watch and if you have any suggestions kindly suggest as you know that every hospital has its own set up of operation instruments according to the type of operations so here is where i'm working in the hospital here is what we are setting for the appendix uh, operation these are the instruments so i would like to show you first of all we have these two sponge holding for steps these sponge holding for steps are used to grab the ghost pieces and to soak in the bedding or spirit and to clean the surface area of the uh, patient before the incision. And we have ghost piece here. Here we have a bunch of forceps, different types of forceps, at least tissue forceps, six numbers, and curved artery forceps with different sizes, and we have 10 straight artery forceps and 2 caucus forceps. This is Ellis tissue forceps. It is a surgical instrument with sharp teeth used to hold or grab heavy tissues. This is curved artery forceps. The main purpose is to control bleeding. Artery forceps are used to grab vessels, arteries and sutures during surgical procedures. The main function of straight artery forceps is same as curved artery forceps. The main purpose is to stop the bleeding, to control the bleeding, and to grab vessels, arteries, and sutures during surgical procedure. This small caucus forceps looks like a straight artery, but it has a sharp tooth at the end. And the main purpose is this also to control the bleeding and as well as to hold the heart tissues. We have here one uh, mop or pad which is only in one number because in appendix in appendectomy we only use one. Uh, it is quite sufficient because it is a small opening and we use one pad here which is small in size. And also we have uh, here a free ribbon gauge which is quite long and we have here two kidney trays one is bigger size used to keep the scapels, blades and sharp instruments like scissors and we have here a small uh, kidney tray uh, which is used to keep the specimen of the appendix and we have here Doyen's uh, cross tower clip to fix the towers during the operation the towers are placed uh, over the uh, patient so this clip will fix them in order not to draw. Right angle forcep is often used to place a tie or vessel loop under and around a tubular structure such as a vessel or a duct, enabling the surgeon to grab the ligature or loop and pull it up and around the structure to either ligate or retract. This is known as free seal. Though the number is not available on the cover, the seal is free. It doesn't have any needle at the end, so it is known as free seal. Now let me show you how to use right angle with this free seal or any other suture. Allow the doctor to grab the seal around any structure to ligate. it. Bad cock. This is used to uh, grasp or hold the appendix. 
during the appendix, sectum, uh, the appendix operation. In appendix operation, diverse retractors, smaller ones are used for the purpose of retracting the peritoneum wall to visualize the appendix properly. This forcep is known as Langenbeck or skin retractor or right anger. It is used in superficial retraction of the skin and the muscles during the operation. This forcep is known as long jaw. It is mostly used after opening the peritoneum area inside the cavity for many other purposes, example, fixing of the uh, ghost free goes inside it without using the hand. This forcep is known as dressing forcep or plain thumb forcep which is used mostly in soft tissues example like the peritoneum structures. This forcep is known as thumb to take forcep. It has a sharp tooth at the end. It is used mostly uh, for holding the hard tissues Skins and muscles mostly used over the rectus shield and the skin suturing. Now we have tissue cutting scissors. It is used for cutting the soft tissues. It has a curved end. This is suture cutter which is used for cutting only sutures. I have here one more scissor for cutting the ghost pieces for dressing. Here is Mayo's needle holder used to hold the needle along with the suture and it is used for suturing. This is number 4 scapel used to fix blades of number 20 and above. And this is another scapel which can fix blades of number 15 and 11. I have here two gully pots, one for betadine and one for spirit solutions. So dear friends, today I am just setting up this instrument as a request from the students. Not a sterile procedure, but still I didn't wear a glove to show it properly. So I have shown this one and I will be showing next time another uh, surgery instruments. So please kindly do keep watching and if you like my video, please kindly share, subscribe and Click to the bell icon. Thank you so much, guys, and keep stay healthy, be happy, be healthy, and keep watching. Let's meet in another video. Thank you.